I can now lay claim to the fact that my name has now appeared on the big screen. Something uh, is a lifetime ambition. Uh, where the babe, I'm sure a lot of you will know, is located in a triangle between Leeds, Harrogate and York. And we're a small market town with a population of about 20,000 pounds. Our cinema has got 136 seats and we celebrated our 100th birthday last year and the um, Yes, you can see the plaque there. We, we, we were in uh, the local civic society, uh, put a plaque on the building. An interesting point about the cinema was that um, it was opened in 1915 at the time of the First World War, and uh, the cinema actually in its early days was used for billeting troops. So uh, it started off with a rather a strange background. Okay, there's a close-up of the plaque. I don't know whether you're able to read it or not, but it does mention the fact that we opened in 1915 and also the fact that we switched to digital in 1912. Now, you may can see from the, this slide here that when it comes to operas and ballets, we just scrub up a little bit and we all wear tuxes. Um, our grandson gives the cast programs out. Uh, we put these out to a local printer to have them printed because we like to give it a bit more profession. So everyone uh, receives a, uh, a cast sheet. Uh, we get the, the required number printed according to the, um, the number of people we have bookings for and obviously allowing for some extra walk-ins. When people book from us, we allocate a seat. They get to pick a seat and a row number. And I've never known such a carry-on people, or more than men, who are petrified that they pick the wrong seat that the wife won't be happy with. <laughs> and there's a view of our cinema. Now you can see we have a world at Sorogan at the front of the cinema. And um, that we use. Uh, not all the time, but we use it uh, for. Uh, we give a bit of an organ recital before the show starts, uh, especially when we know we've got a fairly full house. So there's a uh, shot looking from the rear of the cinema and looking uh, to the back. Now this is a this is a close-up of the organ. Now I do have to come clean on this one in case anyone wants to book me to do an organ recital, <laughs> but I don't play the organ. This is purely for the benefit of the pitch. <laughs> On the technical side of things, we recently installed Landsat early this year. Now, I don't know if anyone's thinking about it, but when it comes to live events, they are an absolute godsend because, uh, like Liz, technical stuff is not really my generation, and uh, these things can be a bit f uh, frightening and getting it right. But with Landsat, I do find it extremely easy and uh, if I can cope with it, then anyone else can cope with it. It's quite a simple thing to work with. Um, there is also a shot of some of our happy uh, people arriving, and um, it is uh, something that we find uh, goes down extremely well in Weatherby. We are focused on motor screen. We do all of the, the, uh, the productions. We have dabbled with one or two others, um, but I find that motor screen are a bit more accommodating and uh, the real people to talk to. <laughs> so I think that just about concludes what uh, I was going to say. The only thing is that I could say is where there's been a single screen, um, I'm sure of you know how distributors are not very accommodating if you want to juggle things about, especially if you're booking a film on date. And we tend to book our films uh, on week three, but we do uh, book films for on release date. And it's a bit tricky because they don't want anything to interrupt their 14 day run. I'm sure maybe some of you have had that experience yourself. Okay, then that's really all I wanted to say this morning. And uh, obviously, if there's anything I can help you with, give me a shout. Thank you. Thank you.